if you want to know how to do tapping, this video is for you. I'm Ellen Light, success coach, tapping into wealth coach, rapid transformational therapist, and this is one of my primary tools that I use to release stress to for myself and for my clients. So we would, you would use this if you had an emotion come up that you wanted to release from the current or the past. You would use this if you felt stuck. You could use this, I've used it in traffic, driving when there's an accident right in front of me and I'm going to an important meeting and I wanna calm my nervous system down. It works by releasing tension right out of your body, right off the nervous system. The points we tap on, are like acupuncture points, but we're just doing a gentle finger tapping. So the why of this, you can research till your heart's content, but I say let's jump in, give it a try so you can see how well and efficiently this works for you. So in tapping, <clears throat> tapping typically works wonderfully for everybody. If it doesn't, I want you to add a couple of steps. Let's do it now. Be sure that you're hydrated. And number two, do a cross crawl. Cross crawl can be done sitting, standing, lying. So if I were standing up, I would be marching. So let's do that together now. Right hand to left knee and back. Left hand to right knee and back. Do this 25 times. You need to come across the midline and come back. And the reason is because you're getting the brain, the left brain and the right brain working how they should be when we're really stressed out, the brain goes like this instead of like this for better communication. So when we do an X across the midline, across the body, you could sweep this way down to the waist. The cross crawl is really more efficient or my favorite. So we've done that and now we're gonna do uh, the karate chop point. So tap in here, you can relax your hands in your lap or wherever you'd like. I'm gonna show you so that we can do this together. Tap each hand 15 times just to, as I say, get the pipes open. You wanna do this work and you want your body to be releasing what we're bringing up. In tapping, we release on a negative emotion, thought, picture, image first because it's used for problems. And then as you release that, it naturally will come shift on its own, releasing the body, releasing tension from the body and emotion, and the positive will naturally rise. Sometimes I like to finish with a positive round, but we start with a negative. So I want you to think about something that you'd like to have different in your life. And um, I'm doing a cleanse right now, so it's coming to me that people have issues with their weight, their body, so let's just do this about the body. Think about a part of your body that you would prefer to have different. Maybe it's too small or too large, and usually it's too, too large, and I'm gonna use the belly just as a, a broad example, but you can apply that to any part of your body that you would like to have different. So, if I were coaching you right now, we would you would do a repeat after me while tapping. Here we go. Oh, this tummy, it's just gotta go. <sighs> really upsetting, it's not getting any smaller. I must do something about this. I just can't take it when I walk past the mirror. Where did it come from? Now, some of you might have hatred or anger towards the body, and if you do, you want to allow that anger and hatred to come up so that it can move out. Body, I'm really angry at you. Why can't you be uh, thin like the supermodels? Uh, I'm really angry at you for looking like this. Why can't I eat? Why do I have to cut down on what I eat? Body, you are not helping me. Body, get your <clears throat> together. Body, I don't like you right now. Body, This is embarrassing to me. I don't want to be seen like this. I want you to have a flat stomach body. So if we were tapping on emotions, 
So check back in and see if you feel the same or different. So the emotions around some uh, belly fat could be anger, embarrassment, fear, like is it gonna keep going? When's this gonna stop? Or it could be sadness, like oh, you know, it makes me alone and it changes my life. So find the emotion and then give it a number on a scale of one to 10. How strong is the emotion? So my belly is bothering me at about a four. So here we go. And we'll check back in on your number. Oh, belly, get it together, go away. Why do I have to think about you at all? I just want to eat. I don't want to think about you. I want you to get it together. I don't want to have to do anything, <laughs> right? <sighs> I miss that uh, younger version of you, tummy. Okay, I'm gonna drop and see if I can find the emotion. <sighs> it's frustration. I'm really frustrated that others get to eat so much and be so thin and I have to watch how much and what I put into my body. So I'm gonna stay with the emotion now. It's really frustrating, all this limitation. I do not like being limited. I want freedom. I'm angry at you, body. You don't let me have my freedom. I'm so frustrated with you, body. Why do you have to be so sensitive? Why can't I just eat whatever I want, look good and feel good? And I'm right about this. I'm pissed off and I'm right about this. So dropping deeper into the body sensation, the emotion and any image, notice, so there is some frustration here and I haven't tapped on this, so this is fresh off the press okay so as I drop into the frustration I find sadness I'm really sad I used to have that flat tummy and I miss it I really like that light thinner version that could feel so sexy in a bathing suit and just move and feel so free, feel so unencumbered. So you can, you, you know, it's tempting to go up into the thoughts, into the thinking, you wanna come back down into the emotion, the body sensations. So if you're visual, you may have a picture. Body sensation is called kinesthetic. Uh, so <clears throat> find the body sensation and or the feeling here. So I'm doing this for real. Let's keep going. I hope you're tapping along with me. What is the next feeling up about this body part that you are working with? Body, I feel like we're in a fight and I know that can't be good. I know we have to work together. I know I have to be sensitive to your needs. I know if I get frustrated with you, if I judge you, if I get angry at you, it's not gonna be a good partnership. And we're pretty much stuck together. So I'm thinking maybe body, I could stop being angry with you and try to work with you more. So the emotions are shifting for me right now. And that's what I want you to see for yourself. You start with an emotion, a picture, you watch for the change. So this tapping, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Let's talk about the names of these points. Top of the head, inside the eyebrow, outside the eyebrow, under the eye, under the nose, on the chin, collarbones, right on the collarbone, four inches under the armpit on the nipple bra line. So with tapping, 
sometimes if I get stuck, I might come back to the side of the hand. So this tool comes in so handy. You can use it, as I said, for stress. You can use it at bedtime if you're keyed up. It will calm your nervous system. I frankly mostly use it when I'm upset or uh, um, want to move some emotional state. But it can be used for many, you know, many applications. So uh, feel free to comment or post if you have any questions. I use this to help people break through to their next levels of success. So is there a goal you're going for with your weight, with your income, with having more love in your life, with having more exercise in your life? This tool can be used to uh, propel you to success. Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy tapping.